Hey, it's Jeremy here. I'm gonna be showing you how to roughen up some type in Illustrator CC. So I'm gonna show you two effects. Usually the second one is better and I'm gonna show you the right way to roughen type. So what we have here is just a top one type face. It's called Streetwear. It's a free font, I'm pretty sure. And at the moment you can see that if I click it, it's actually live. So I can go in here and type, but we don't want it to be live. So I'm gonna control Z that. And I'm gonna select the type and go to type at the top left corner. I'm going to go down this menu and I'm going to click create outlines. So click on that and you can see how, you know, we've got the one shape now, but you can see how these shapes are overlapping. We don't want these paths. So I'm going to go to my pathfinder tool and we're going to click this first button unite. If you don't know, if you don't know how to open pathfinder, go to window, go down to pathfinder there. So you can see now it's all one shape. There's no extra spacing. If I go in outline mode, you can see there it's all the typography now. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you this the first way to do it. This way is the worst off way. It doesn't actually really work really well, but a lot of people do it. So if you go to Effect, Distort and Transform and Roughen, and click Preview on the bottom here, you get a few options. But you can see when I press Preview, it just goes out of whack and it's really messed up. So you, you can leave it on Relative there, but you can usually try and make it less. But you can see, even if that, it still looks pretty bad, unless we go 0 0.2 like that. But it's still, you know, overpowering the type and it's, you know, roughening it too much. I just want a subtle rough on the edges, that's all. But it, you can even change the points to a smooth corner instead of on corner. So if I change to smooth, you can see it roughens it a little bit, but it's still making the type too messy. So you can see that. I'll press OK for you. And you can see how it's, it's messed up the font too much. Uh, all I want to do is roughen up the edges a little bit and make it a little bit more grungy, but this effect doesn't really work well. So I want to press Ctrl Z. I want to show you the better way to do it. So what we can do is we can select the type. You want to make sure that it's black. So when we do this effect, the Illustrator actually reads it. So we're going to make sure it's black. So it's going to read all the area of the type we want. Now I'm going to go to Effect, go to Pixelate, and we're going to go to Mesotint, which is the third one there. So what Mesotint is, is a Photoshop effect. You can see you can add some grains, dots, lines, and strokes. So you can scroll through them, play around with that, last like that. I'm going to go to click grading dots for now and press OK. So now you can see it's out of the effect, but it's not a vector yet. So we have to do a few more steps before we can actually start playing around with it. So I'm going to go to the top left corner. You can see it says compound path now. That's all, it's all right. We're going to rasterize it. So I'm going to press Object and go to Rasterize. And then you can leave it on CMYK, that's fine. And click Transparent for the background and just press OK. So it's sort of rendered that, that out, but you can see now it's registering it, not as a shape, but sort of as an image. So if you go to the top hand corner, it's registering it as an image now. But what we're going to do is turn it back into a vector. So we're going to go to the top left corner and click on Image Trace here. So what it's going to do, it's going to image trace that shape. And now you can see it's sort of turning into a vector, but it's still just one piece and it's not expanded yet. So what we're going to do is go click this little box at the top left, top left corner there. Click that and you'll get the image trace box up. And now we're going to play around with these settings. So first up, I'm going to go to the bottom and click ignore white. Click that and then also tick off snap curves to lines. That's fine. And you can see now this effect, it's added some nice rough edges here and even some specs. So if you want to make the edges more rough, you can add the threshold and you can drag it down. And you can see it's going to do some buffering. And you can see how it's made it really, really rough. If you want to just get the edges a bit more cleaner, you can bring the threshold up and you can see it will make it less, you know, broken and damaged. It will just, you know, leave it less distressed. But if you want to, you know, make it, bit better. I'm just going to drop the threshold down. Um, you can play around the paths as well. So the paths is going to add more anchor points. So we'll add more detail on the edges here. So you can see if I drop the paths low, it will get rid of this detail just like that. But you know, it's pretty cool. You can leave it on like 70%. And then corners won't really work with this effect. Usually the corners will make it smooth or hard, but don't worry about that. And if you don't want these um, dots, you can actually decrease it by bringing the noise up. And you can see that if you just want the nice edges, then leave noise high. So then you'll just get the nice rough edges. Or if you want some of the dots, you can bring the noise down. 
If you bring it all the way down, it's got to add as much detail as possible. But you can see now, if I look at my anchor points on the bottom here, it's 73,000. So that means it's going to lag your Illustrator. The more anchor points, the more lag you'll have. So try and keep this number at a reasonable you know, size. But you can see now it's added some nice spec effect, which looks really nice, especially if you're doing hand lettering and you want to add that nice feel to it. I'm just going to drop down the noise here, tweaking it, just playing around with it until you get it to somewhere you like. Drop this down, roughen up the edges more. Awesome, that looks so good. So what we're going to do now, go to the top left corner and press expand, and voila, you can close this, and now it's a vector shape. So you can see that it's just one shape. If I go to my outline mode, you can see all the dots there that we have. And it looks really good. You know, we can go play around with the color. So I drop this color in the background and then multiply. Or I can even play around with it. Screen. I'll probably leave it on multiply. So yeah, that's how you rough and type the right way. You can use it on shapes or anything really. And it adds a nice effect. Better than just going to effect and roughen. Um, you know, you can play around with mezzotin and you'll get some really nice effects. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to leave a comment below and as well click the subscribe button to get more content every week.